We'll begin tonight with the latest situation along the border between Thailand and Myanmar. And recently, the Foreign Affairs Ministry has denied reports that the Thai government has pushed back Myanmar civilians that fled conflict across the border into the country. The statement published by the spokesman of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Thani Sangrat, said that there are certain news reports alleging that some Karens who fled into Thailand have been forced to return to Myanmar are inaccurate. He stated that those reports cite information solely from non-official sources without confirming the facts of without confirming the facts from official sources on the ground which affirmed that no such pushback took place. The past weekend saw the deadliest crackdown yet since the coup d'etat on February 1st, raising the total death toll to over 500 people. Myanmar local media reported that the military launched air-style attacks into areas where a Karen ethnic resided, resulting in thousands of them fled into the forest and crossed the border into Thailand. The Karen National Union has been supporting the anti-coup movement and reportedly attacked some of the military posts in their state. Tani stated that Thailand has been monitoring the developments in Myanmar very closely. He also said that at this particular time, relevant Thai agencies on the ground have made appropriate preparations to accommodate any possible movements. Tani also said that Thai authorities will continue to look after those on the Thai side of the border while assessing the situation in Myanmar closely. So that is the current situation in Myanmar and what the Thai government has to say on the current situation.